Hello friends, in this video let us revise the basic difference between amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying as well as phase shift keying. We know that in the case of digital communication, we are going to talk about the term that is keying. This keying has arrived from the communication process that is telegraphy. In the case of telegraphy, we are going to make use of dot and dash. This process is called as keying. This amplitude shift keying is mapped as analog modulation in the case of analog communication this fsk is mapped as frequency modulation and psk is mapped as phase modulation now what do you mean by ask fsk psk means your message will be taking only two variants or it is going to take only two logic levels now what do you mean by amplitude shifting means the definition says amplitude of a high frequency carrier is varied with respect to digital data this is very very important but in the case of fsk you are going to vary the frequency but in the case of phase shift keying you are going to vary the phase we are having two logic levels in the case of ask it is high nothing but the amplitude will be having a amplitude of plus ac and another amplitude is zero but in the case of fsk you will be making use of two frequencies the first frequency is f1 and the second one is f2 always make sure that f1 is very much higher when compared to f2 in the case of phase shift keying you will be having two amplitudes the first one is represented by plus az and the second one is represented by minus az the signalings what you are going to use in the case of amplitude shift keying is on off signaling hence amplitude shift keying is also referred as on off signaling in the case of frequency shift keying and phase shift keying we are going to make use of nrz signaling the bandwidth that is used in amplitude shift keying and phase shift keying is 2w where w stands for highest frequency component of the message signal or it is also represented as 2rb but what is the bandwidth in the case of fsk is it is f1 minus f2 plus 2rb where f1 is upper cut off frequency and f2 is lower cut off frequency why we are not going to prefer fsk means it requires huge bandwidth theoretical bandwidth will be approximately equals to infinite if i am talking about signal to noise ratio we know that signal to noise ratio should be very much greater than 1 but in the case of amplitude shift keying it is a low value and in the case of frequency shift keying and phase shift keying it is greater than 1 so we are not going to prefer amplitude shift keying amplitude shift keying is used in tv broadcasting but in the case of FSK, if I'm talking, it is used in modulator and demodulator. But the drawback in the case of FSK means multiplexing becomes very much difficult. But if I'm talking about the application of PSK, it is used in wireless transmission. What is the disadvantage of ASK? Probability of error. As well as the one more disadvantage is signal to noise ratio will be very much less. Hence, it is not preferred. What is the disadvantage of FSK? Bandwidth required is more, but if I am talking about theoretical bandwidth, it is infinite. Now, the message signal. The message signal I am going to represent by M of T. And the carrier signal I am going to represent it by C of T. And the modulated signal I am going to represent it by S of T. This is very, very important. The message signal is also called as modulating signal. The carrier signal is C of T after modulation that signal is called as modulated signal i am going to represent by s of t so in the case of ask i am having s of t which is equals to ac into cos of 2 pi fct what is s2 of t which is zero but in the case of fsk s1 of t equals to ac cos of 2 pi fc1 t you are going to make use of higher frequency component and S2 of T equals to AC cos of 2 pi FC 2 T where FC 2 is very much less when compared to FC 1. In the case of PSK it is plus AC cos of 2 pi FC T and S2 of T equals to minus AC cos of 2 pi FC T. See in the case of modulation you will be having three parameters first one is amplitude second one is frequency and the third one is phase in the case of amplitude shifting or in the case of amplitude modulation 
we are not going to vary frequency and phase nothing but frequency and phase is kept constant you are going to vary only the amplitude but in the case of fm or fsk we are going to vary only the frequency but in the case of phase shift keying or phase modulation you are going to vary only the phase this is very very important as i discussed the probability of error in the case of amplitude shift keying is i and probability of error in the case of frequency shift keying is low as well as phase shift keying is also low next if i am discussing the probability of error the probability of error in the case of esk it is q of under root of ac square tb divided by 4n not but in the case of frequency shift keying it is q into root of ac square tb divided by 2n not but in the case of phase shift keying it is under root of ac square tb divided by n not or if i am talking about euclidean distance it is q times of under root of ed divided by 2 n not in the case of ask in the case of fsk it is q into under root of ed divided by n not here also it is under root of 2 ed divided by n not now what do you mean by ed ed equals to ac square tb divided by 2 this is very very important now if i am talking about constellation diagram now what is the definition of constellation diagram constellation diagram is representation of signal modulated by a digital modulation scheme it displays the signal as a two dimensional xy plane scatter diagram in complex plane at simple sampling instance now let me plot the constellation diagram in the case of ask fsk and psk now in the case of ask you will be having one at under root eb and one more at origin but the same thing if i am talking about fsk it is at a root eb on the x axis and one more point is at a root eb on the y axis similarly if i am talking about psk please remember carefully you will be having plus amplitude as well as negative amplitude so one it is at root eb and the second one is at minus root eb now let me consider the distance between these two points the distance between these two points is less right so probability of error will be high but if i am talking about these two points it is very much far so the probability of error in the case of psk it is low hence we are going to make use of psk we are not going to prefer ask able to follow so friends in this video i have given the basic difference between amplitude shift keying frequency shift keying as well as phase shift keying thank you for being on my channel please like the video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel training yarn all the best for your competitive exams thank you